I love subscribers. I don't get that. I don't get that. Let me skip that. Let me skip that. I know we got to make the money. We got to make the money. Hello, everybody. Are we all set up? I'm looking in the monitor. I'm looking at... How's my hair? How's my hair? Is my hair okay? Fantastic. All right. Dun, 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 Who keeps moving this? Someone keeps moving this back. Who keeps moving this? You, you, you. You're fired. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, how's, how's my hair? Does it look good? Does it look good? Folks, we're coming to you live. Live this morning. The lighting's good. How do I look? How do I look? Do I look good? Do Fantastic, I look good? Fantastic, sir. Thank you. That's my wonderful aide de camp. Aide de camp. Uh, my hair's a little high. My hair's a little high. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Beautiful. Hello, everyone. It's me, President Trump. Uh, I'm here on the tickety talk over here, and I'm talking directly to you on the white tee. The white tee, where I have 104,000 followers. Actually, this isn't my channel. This is my good friend, The Johnny D Show. The Johnny D Show. And as you know, I start off every one of these press conferences by loving America. Trump bless America. That's what I always say. Trump bless you and Trump bless America. But th what are we blessing, folks? My, my favorite flags. I always kiss the flag, hug the flag, fondle the flag. I love, they love the tassels. They love when I tickle the tassels. So, but this flag, the one over here, is far more jealous than this flag. So I have to come over here, hug and tickle the tassels. <clears throat> but it's great to be back. Today, we're coming from Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada, we brought my White House press room set. We bring it with me all over the country all over the country, and we are live here in Las Vegas. Why? Why? Because I won the Nevada caucus in a landslide. In a landslide. It was unbelievable. I was the only one on the ballot, but I won in a landslide, folks. It was absolutely incredible. I love the Nevada caucus. I love the Nevada people. Great people, fantastic people. And of course, Las Vegas. We won very big in Las Vegas. And why? Because I have the tremendous Trump Tower right on the Strip. Trump Tower, hotel, no casino. And I always say, if it's not a Trump hotel, it's a dump hotel. Am I right, folks? Am I right? This is such a great town. And they've got the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl in town. And I think we all know it's rigged. The whole thing's rigged for Travis Kelsey and that horrible, horrible, nasty woman. Uh, I'm never going to say her name. Taylor Swift. I won't even say it. I'll say T.S. They say Tata. They say tata. I don't know. I don't know. But we have some wonderful, wonderful reporters here today. Uh, make some noise for the reporters, Woo! everybody. It's uh, Tay Tay. It's Tay Tay? What did I say? Tatas? Yeah. Tata. I don't want to get kicked off the, uh, the tickety talk <laughs> if I say tatas and I'm a Tay Tay. Where the hell do they get Tay Tay from? Swift and Taylor. Where do they get Taylor? The Taylor. Tay -tay. Oh, Tay Tay. Okay, now I get it. I like tatas. I have to like. Who doesn't like tatas? You look at any old painting, the women are naked and they have big tatas, which I think is tremendous. It's really incredible. So, we have our reporter over here. Please introduce yourself. One of the many. By the way, folks, you can't see it. There's 50 people in the press room and 100 outside in the snow. We have a lot of snow here in Las Vegas who want to get in. And you are, what is your name again? Hello, hello, Lorraine Keish. Lorraine Keish, Lorraine Keish. Baker's Fancy Magazine. Baker's Just wanted to tell you on behalf of the readers of Baker's Fancy. Right. Sir, sir, sir. Thank you, you, thank you, thank you. take the cake. Oh, thank you so much. And everyone knows I love cake. I love cake. And we have uh, another gentleman here from uh, from the local Las Vegas paper. Right? Uh, that's right. Here. Eugene Merman from the one and only Las Vegas Gazette. La Las Great Vegas G here. Gazette. You know what that is? That's LVG. LVG, did exactly, you know that? Exactly. No one, no one talks about that. LVG, that's like Golden Knights. That's exactly, like Golden Knights, exactly. Which is a big winning team, which I brought to Las Vegas. A lot of people, a lot of people don't know that. They were crying. The big, strong hockey players come up to me all the time. Sir, sir, sir. Thank you, sir. They're thanking me. Big guys, and they all smell the hockey uniform. Steak. 
They stink, and they're all Canadian, and they're worse than the French Canadians. But I love the Canadian people, great people, fantastic people, and I've been to Canada like three times now, and it's almost like another country up there. It's like another country. And honestly, what are Canadians? They're just unarmed Americans with a crappy health care system, but a better attitude, a better attitude. That's true. Do we have a question to start on the on the white tea? On the white tea? Uh, y- yes, sir. I've, I've got one for you. Yes, go ahead. Uh, do you have anything to say to Norma Anderson, the 91-year-old former Colorado representative? that does not want you for on the ballot for re-election? This is a fantastic question. Thank you for asking that. Now, for those of you who know, I was in the Supreme Court yesterday, not me, but my, my incredible lawyers uh, who were talking to the Supremes and even, even the left-wing, radical, communist, socialist, fascistic, fish stick uh, Supremes agree that I should not be kicked off. And this woman, this 91-year-old radical, Antifa-loving, soup-throwing woman, uh, she wants me off the ballot. And let me tell you something, all right? The, the, trying to keep me off the ballot is, 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 a bad, is bad news. It's bad news. Let me tell you something. That's like someone trying to overthrow the government. You know what I mean? So she has to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. She's And I don't care that she's 91. She can rot in prison for all I care. It's true. All right, next question. Anybody? Who we got down in front? This comes from Noel. 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 You know what? Do you, you people know this? Noel means Christmas. Noel means Christmas. And that's my favorite time of the year because that's when Jesus was born. Great guy. And I was the one who brought back Merry Christmas. No one was saying Merry Christmas. It was illegal. It was illegal under Obama to say Merry Christmas because he was a Muslim, of course. But uh, I brought back Merry Christmas and not this happy holidays crap. But go ahead with your question. Uh, Noel asked, sir, 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 what did you think of Biden's presser? Oh, the presser where he lost his mind. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I'm fine. I, I got this thing with the, oh, yeah, the Cracker Jack. That guy over there and my the hair on my legs, man. Oh, come on, Jack. Let me tell you something. I've got the cognitive. I've got the cognitive. He doesn't have the cognitive. You know what I mean? No one has the cognitive the way I have the cognitive. I mean, I, I, I've done, how many of these, how many, how many of these? Cash, you said 18. I've so. done 18 hours of press conference. Am I like, oh, man, Sarsaparilla. Malarkey. Oh, man, that's not me. That's not me. I am totally with it. I know where I am. Uh, and by the way, by the way, on the test, what did they say? They always said, they always said uh, the test is, is every, is every, the pre- there's a thing going on in the press room here. It's okay. We've got Lorraine Keish is uh, moving around. Uh, but I always say uh, it was camera, woman, chair, uh, TV monitor, and camera. And I always get that right. They would come back to you and say, what did you say before? Go ahead with the question. Uh, you got a donation from Johnny Shabazz. Johnny Shabazz. Johnny Shabazz. Johnny, thank you so much. How much was it for? It was twenty three forty five in Canadian. Oh, we love the Canadian people. Great people. What did I say? I said they're far nicer than Americans. $23. That's like $50 in the U.S., just so you folks know. Just so you folks know. It's absolutely incredible. I'm so excited. we have another question? The guy in the back? Uh, Yes, I've got one for you, sir. Yes. Of course, we all know that you're the smartest person in the world. Absolutely. Will you be... Best memory, too. I have the greatest Uh, memory. I agree, sir. Will you be joining Mensa? Well, you know what? I, um, I turned down Mensa because they're a bunch of nerds. They're a bunch of nerds. But they tested. They clocked my brain at, like, 250 miles per hour. And they said, would you join it? Please, 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 sir, 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 President Trump, you're so smart. Would you be in Mensa? And I said, I don't like you people. You're all a bunch of nerds. You know, I call them Densa. I call them Densa. That's what I call them. Uh, But uh, there are, you know what's really interesting? A lot of the fantastic MAGA women uh, are so attractive. A lot of the Mensa women. Thanks for the super chat. Not so hot. Do we have a question here? Yes, I just want to get to Johnny's question real quick. Oh, thank you, Johnny, for the money, and thank you for the question, buddy. Thank Johnny you. asks, sir, 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 Lord Oh, three God. sirs. I like that. Go ahead. Lord God, sir, king of the deal. Wow, king of the deal. Oh, I like this guy's great. We'll have to have him on the show here in the press room. <laughs> press he room. said, please advise if 
please advise our advice. If you think Hel Hel Helena Baba should dye her hair blonde and legally change her name to Ivana. Wow, I have to tell you, I think everyone knows I love Alina Habadabadoo. Habadabadoo, I've paid her over $3 million to be my fantastic attorney. And let me tell you something. I'm a smart businessman. That $3 million has now turned into $83.3 million, but I owe that. So maybe she's not as good as I thought, but she is super sexy. We have a party pretty much every night at Mar-a-Lago, and she's always in like a Prada, uh, uh, you know, Vera Wang, all these beautiful things. And I think she should dye her hair. I think Alina Haba, you know, with blonde hair would be Ivanka on steroids, but no steroids, if you know what I'm talking about. Good question, though. I like that. And I like Alina, too. Alina, win some cases for me because it's getting a little expensive. All right, go right ahead. Oh, any questions? Because I want to talk about Nikki Haley for a second. Nikki Haley. And by the way, Nikki, I won the Nevada caucus and you weren't on it. Mm, sad, sad. In fact, I made sure no one else was on the caucus except me. And that's how I won in a landslide. Lorena Kish. Lorena yes, Kish. yes, yes, sir, sir, sir. Have you thought to change your name to Donald E. Trump? I mean, what is it about you and Elvis that you have in common? Well, I, that you know, Elvis sneer, it's so kingly, the presence you both have. Well, that's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so excited you brought this up. This week I posted on Truth Social how many times people have said, I look like Elvis, how handsome I am, and Elvis was handsome. And that's why I put up the post, and you can look this up on the Google, uh, half my face, Half Elvis, it's almost hard to believe we're not the same person. And a lot of people have said I am the Elvis of politics, even though I'm not a politician. So whatever I am, I'm the Elvis of it. And in fact, we have the head of the Elvis uh, impersonator uh, organization here. They're not, you guys are non-union, right? Uh, that's right, man. Non that's right, yeah. Right, do you have a question for me, everybody? This is a top Elvis guy in the country. Go ahead. Oh, thank you very much, man. Uh, as you know, here in Las Vegas, yes. uh, it's a big deal for us to have the Super Bowl here. First that, time ever. Huge, Absolutely. huge. And I did that. I did that, by the way. I negotiated that deal. Oh, thank you very that. much, sir. I appreciate that very thank much. Thank you. So I was just wondering, uh, who do you think is going to win? Uh, I, I think, unfortunately, San Francisco is the city. Um, uh, Kansas City Chiefs are going to win because it's rigged. It's rigged. I think we all know at the end of this game, because it's in Las Vegas, uh, and I love Las Vegas, don't get me wrong, but what's going to happen is they're going to win, and then Travis Kelsey is going to propose to Tay-Tay or Tata or whatever the hell her name is, and then because of the relaxed marriage laws here in the city of Las Vegas, which I actually agree with, they're going to get married, and then they're going to turn, and then they're going to endorse sleepy Joe Biden, who's walking around the White House in circles. Oh, oh, come on, man. What are you doing? I don't Listen, Joe Biden is so old, they discontinued his blood type. It's true, folks. He has no blood. He has no blood. He is so old, they're only buying yellow bananas for the White House. They're not even, they don't even take, they're not even risky green bananas at this point. This guy is so old, they're buying two eggs at a time. It's it's sad. Go ahead, next question. This question comes from Dajo87. Dajo. Dajo87. They ask, Your Majesty, sir. Your Majesty, oh, I like that. The Rock was also in Las Vegas yesterday. Who has the bigger muscles out of you and him? Well, I think I think a lot of people saw the NFTs, uh, which sold out in 15 minutes. I made over $5 million on the NFTs. And if you look at the NFTs, I have muscles where I didn't even know muscles existed. So I would have to say in the NFT world, I am far bigger than The Rock. Far bigger than The Rock. And by the way, everyone's, oh, The Rock, The Rock, The Rock, The Rock. Let me tell you something about The Rock, okay? He's bald, folks. He's bald. He shaves his head because he has no hair. But I have hair. I have tremendous hair. I've got great genes. I have tremendous genes. And this is why we have to close the borders because the Mexican baby machines are crossing into this country and they're just shooting them out, the babies, as they come across. And uh, we, the, our, the blood is being poisoned in this country. And that is why I am selling Trump spunk. Trump spunk. This is my seed 
freshly made every morning. This jar is still warm. I can sell this to you for $1,000. And by the election, you can have a Trump baby. Trump spunk is the best spunk because I made it. And all these women say, Trump, give me a baby. Uh, this is it. This is Trump spunk, and it is ready to go anytime. It's only $1,000 a jar. And if you order right now, you'll get a second jar for another thousand dollars that's two jars for the price of two jars order immediately i'm working my trump tower overtime my head's sore or my, both of my hands are sore uh, but the things went away which is very important but we are going to repopulate the united states of america with baby trumps and then at my inauguration on january 17 2025 people will raise up their trump babies which they got through trump smug like, hey, it'll be like uh, whatever that show is what's that show the lion king the lion king but it'll be the trump king it'll be the trump king down in front my what? Wonderful assistant cast. Where can we find the commercial for this? Oh, you can find the commercial for this on this channel. Gives you all the details about Trump Spunk, how we scientifically produced this, how I worked overtime to make this, and how we tweaked the uh, little tadpole, not tadpoles, what do they call it? The little, uh, the swimmers, the, not the swimmers. We got rid of the swimmers, uh, whatever it is. We made sure it's only the best of the best. Trump Spunk, it's fantastic. And... Yes, question. Oh, I was just going to ask, if I'm watching on TikTok, how can I find it? Oh, if you're watching on TikTok, go up to the, uh, what is that, the bio? Mm -hmm. the, go up to the bio, click through, and make sure you subscribe to this channel, which is the Johnny D Show 1 on YouTube. We have 104,000 subscribers. We'd love to have you. There's content. We put out two new videos a week on that channel, on this channel, for people watching and people on right over here on the Tickety Talk. We're gonna have you go there, go sign up. There's six million of you on TikTok, but I need you over on the YT, YT, which would be fantastic. You can watch all there. The Spunk, Trump Spunk commercial is right there. This is great stuff. We're gonna repopulate the country and stop the poison. Go right ahead. <laughs> Oh, sir, 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 nobody could ever accuse you of not being spunky. No, not at all, not at all. <laughs> Super spunky. Question, question from Mom to Huskies. Mom to, oh, Mom to Huskies. She's been asking questions before. She's wonderful. Yes. Hello, Mom to Huskies. Mom to Huskies. Yes, to Huskies. sir, Lord God. Will you, you be singing Jailhouse Rock when you go to prison? Well, I don't know if I'm going to prison. People say, oh, you're going to prison. You're going to I'm not going to prison. Listen, I've dodged it for 70 years. Why, why would I suddenly go now? But I do love Elvis. We were talking about me, how much I look like Elvis, how I'm the king of politics. Uh, how does ja you know what? How does Jailhouse Rock go? Uh, Walking I through a party in the county jail. Prison bands there and they began to wait. Ben was jumping out of the rope again to swing. You should have heard us not doubt jail, but saying, let's, let's rock. Let's rock. Hey, everybody in the old cell block, dance to the jailhouse rock. See that? If I was in prison, they'd love me. They love me. And by the way, I would bring the Mexican gangs together, the Aryan Brotherhood together, the guys who are a little light and the loafers together. We would make prison great again. It would be absolutely incredible. They'd probably, probably make me the warden of it, of the entire prison system in this country, which is totally overburdened, by the way. Too many people. How are you? You got a donation from AU79. AU79, thank you so much. How much was it? I for love five dollars. Five dollars. I love, love, love money. Me and money are BFFs. Me and Benjamin Franklin. I read his biography. Well, I didn't read it. I looked at the cover. But I learned so much about him. He's a tremendous guy. He loved money. I love money. We have so much. I'm almost like a founding father, I have to tell you. But I'm the new founding father. Oh, I can see myself dancing on screen. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, AU79's question was, we love you, Mr. Trump. Can Thank I get you. a loan? Can you get a loan? You know what? If you want a loan, talk to Sleepy Joe Biden. Oh, come on, man. 
Oh, I'm not giving out loans. What the? Listen, Sleepy Joe loves to give away your money, folks. Loves to give away your money. It's it's so sad. He wants to, he wants to pay off student loans. Why would you do that? You have to keep these people poor. You have to keep these college graduates poor because who else is going to work at McDonald's and Wendy's and Pizza Hut, all the places I go to. And I love it. I love the poorly educated, but the people who are educated obviously are not that educated because they weren't smart enough to cover their expenses. I was lucky enough to be rich, rich, so rich. Believe me, I have so much money. You have no idea. So rich. Do we have a question? I have one for you, sir. There we go. Who's this guy? Who, who are you, sir? Uh, Eugene from the Las oh, Vegas for, oh, okay. Gazette. Yeah, that's you right. You look totally different. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah. I had a coffee. That's yeah, a little Oh, different. you look yes. more awake. I yes, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Is Steve Ducey here today? Did he come or is he stuck with Biden? No, he's stuck with Biden. All right, go ahead. Anyway, sir, uh, being here in Las Vegas. We're, Isn't it great? Isn't it, it is fantastic. Absolutely. Mm. We're only two hours from Area 51. Yes, exactly. And of course, in my paper, we feature many, many articles on Bigfoot, aliens, mm. the Loch Ness Monster, and things, things like I that. Things I believe in. Things yes. I believe in. Oh, it's a fantastic paper. I would like to ask you the age-old question. Do aliens exist? Uh, let me tell you something. I, I, I want to address this. Aliens exist. They've been coming to this planet illegally illegally for a very, very long time. When I am back in the White House, we're gonna build a wall around the planet and we are gonna make Saturn pay for it. Cause these people are coming here and they're probing people. And I think we all know what that means. And you should pay for that. You can't probe somebody for free. I've talked to these people, tears in their eyes, talking about these gray guys with very cold skin, doing things they shouldn't be doing to them. Listen, if you wanna do that to Americans, you're going to have to pay for that. You're going to have to pay for that. And by the way, we have a lot of aliens locked up at uh, Area 51. And uh, we're not going to let them go because, they, you know, they, they're very smart. They're super intelligent. Uh, but they're coming here. They're streaming over the intergalactic border like the, like the Mexicans, frankly. By the way, the Mexicans gave us two tiny aliens. That wasn't real because aliens are much bigger than that. They're like eight feet tall. Go ahead down in front. This question comes from Helen915 on TikTok. Helen915. Wasn't that a song from the 80s? Uh, 8675. Oh, no, that's somebody else. Go ahead. <laughs> Helen asked, did Melania leave you? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, Helen. I liked you right up to that question. She did not leave me. She did not leave me. She likes to do her own thing. She likes to do her own thing. Uh, uh, but she's very independent. You know, all these people, all these women go, oh, I'm a feminist. I'm a feminist. My wife's a feminist independently. And then they get angry about it and they get angry about it. Yes. Go right ahead. Yes, again, uh, Lorraine Keish, Baker's Fancy Hello, Magazine. Hello, Lorraine. Uh, serious question from Luis Gonzalez. Hmm. Luis asks, what will you do if you are found guilty of insurrection Will you step down and let Nikki Haley be the GOP candidate? No, no. Is that the full question, by the it way? It is. Now, first off, it wasn't an insurrection. I only said it was an insurrection yesterday uh, because it was convenient. But it's not an insurrection. It was a, a group of tourists who were, listen, listen, you know, it was kind of like that day in France when they, they, the tourist group went through the Bastille. Uh, it, it's very similar. These are a group of patriots who quietly and peacefully beat the crap out of 140 of the wonderful police people there. But this is all uh, Nancy Pelosi's fault. This is all Nancy Pelosi's fault in league with uh, Nikki Haley, who, by the way, N.H. Why do you, you know what I mean? N.H. That's New Hampshire. So that's not very fair to me, is it? My initials, which are tremendous, by the way, Donald J. Trump. That is D J T, right? But hers is N H. And by the way, that's not even even her name. By the way, her name is Indian. Indian. Does everyone know her actual real name? Like Batswala Sabadabadabu, something like that. So Nikki, Nikki, uh, reveal your real name. Reveal your real name. Nikki's your middle name. Do I go by John? No. Go ahead. You got a donation from Madu's Kitchen for four ninety nine. Oh, Madu's Kitchen. Where's that? Where's Madu's Kitchen? Thanks for this. Is that a real restaurant? Chat. I love to eat. I'm not it's sure. Let, it, let us know in the chat, Madu's Kitchen, yes, where you're from. Yes, because, you know, I my favorite thing is money. My second favorite thing is food. I love food. No one knows food the way I food. And if I don't like your food, I'll throw it on the wall in the White House. There's ketchup stains everywhere. Go ahead. 
Um, and you got a question from TikTok. This comes from Gummy Bear. Gummy Bear. Gummy Bear asked, who is the best Republican running besides you? Uh, nobody. Nobody. I mean, Chris Christie, the Hindenburg, he dropped out. You know what I mean? You know, Chris, Chris, I hope you're watching, Chris. I hope you're sitting there having a breakfast sandwich while you're watching this. It's so sad. This guy, this guy is absolutely, he's got more chins than a Chinese phone book. This guy, he thinks he's going to be president. He was running for president, more like he was waddling for president. His A1C is WTF. This guy is such a mess. It's such a mess. So there is nobody, I want to make this very clear. If I dropped out, if the aliens at Area 51 took me away, you wouldn't have a Republican to step up. I mean, look at Mike Pence. He was my, he was my vice president. He was an absolute and total mess. Right, Ed? Oh, yeah, the Elvis guy over here. Oh, okay. there you go. Hey, the, the Elvis guy's here. The Elvis really. guy, that's right. I he love is. that suit. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to mention, you know, we spend a lot of time on our hair, us all of us guys. You yes, know? you do. Beautiful hair. Oh, thank right you very much. And you've yeah. got the, mo the most awesome hair in the world. Right. I just wanted to say. I wanted to know, what, what product do you use, sir? Uh, I use Luxury Locks. Luxury Locks. It is a Trump-branded hair care system. Luxury Locks. We have the stuff that regrows the hair. We have the stuff that shampoos the hair. And we have the stuff that conditions the hair. And if you order some Trump spunk and have a Trump baby, you'll see the hair close and right up. And I'll even send you some luxury locks for the full price. Trump spunk. Let's get these babies made that look just like me and we'll repopulate this country in my image. We can make that a commercial. Go ahead. Uh, yes, yeah, sir, sir, sir. Uh, we've got a question here chat. from High Flying Eye. Sir, 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 which wall is better? Your Mexican wall or the Great Wall of China? China. Well, first off, um, I, who, who asked the question? I know that name. Uh, that was High Flying Eye. High Flying Eye. High Flying Eye. Hello, High Flying Eye. Great to be back. Now, listen, here's the thing about China. China, okay? That wall is what, 2,000 miles? Pretty long, right? Is it 12,000 miles. It's incredibly long. It's a very long and high wall. But uh, you know you know how I am about China. Terrible people, terrible people, the Chinese. Great takeout, terrible people. But I have to tell you, with that wall, walls work. Walls work. Uh, you know what else works? Wheels. Wheels and walls work. And they did it right in China. Okay, and people say to me all the time, a wall like that, sir, 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 a wall like that, that's medieval. I don't care if it's medieval, early evil, late evil, walls work, and we should have a wall that runs 2,000 miles from Tijuana to the other side of the country across the Rio Grande, and we will stop these people pouring in. It's almost like they want a better life. How dare they come here? You know what I mean? It, we have to change the Constitution. We have to change them. Well, actually, we should get rid of the Constitution because a lot of things in the Constitution I don't like. Go ahead. You got a donation, another donation from AU79 for $5. Thank you, Thank AU79. You. I really appreciate that. We need my legal fund. I have to pay out $83 million to some woman I never met who said I did things to her that I said on that Access Hollywood bus, which wasn't true, and that was locker room talk. Go ahead. He said, Mr. President, you can always count on me every Friday. And of course, my money. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know what? See, this is the thing. People, I, I always say, I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm really, really rich. But I don't want to use my money. I want to use your money. And for me to use your money, you have to send me your money. So send me your money, and I promise I'll use it. Okay? And by the way, do we have any tickety talk questions? Lorena Keish, or are they, can you see them? I've got oh, one, yes. Do you, you have them too? Oh, fantastic. Yep. This one comes from TikTok, like you asked, um, from Landon Pate. Landon Pate. Hello, Landon. How are you? Landon Good Pate asks, what do you think of Tucker Carlson and Putin interview? Well, I. you know what? This is the thing about the Tucker Carlson Putin interview. I should be doing that interview. All right. I should be, me and Putin are very, very close. Very, very close. Uh, I call him V-Poots. I call him V-Poots. I call him Vladdy. I call him every morning. I'm like, what are you wearing today? And he goes, I'm wearing gray suit. I'm like, what are you wearing? And I said, I'm wearing the blue suit with the red tie. I said, what do you, you have a fun, you have a full day pack? And he and I talk all the time. And Tucker Carlson, who I like. 
who I like, by the way, who's been very, very good to me. Fox News has been very, very good to me. But I like Tucker because he's sassy. He's sassy. And I like sassy guys who aren't, you know, but he's very sassy. And I, I have to say, I'm jealous. I'm je- I have FOMO. FOMO, which is the stuff when you go to Starbucks and you get a coffee, that's the FOMO. And I have FOMO that he's interviewing my good friend. But don't worry, Pooty, uh, you and I are going to be back together very, very soon. Believe me. Believe me. Go right ahead. Miss Kish. Miss Kish. Sir, sir, uh, a religious question. If we could oh, take, I if love we could religion. No one knows the Bibble the way I love the Bibble. I am like a Bibble expert. I'm a Bibble expert. Go ahead, go ahead, ask your Bibble question. Is it a Bibble question or just religion? The readers of general? Baker's Fantasy Magazine, we all know you as a man of the cloth. That, and very, by that very I much. mean the cheese very much. cloth. And by the, the way, speaking cloth. of cloth, we still have some of my t-shirts to sell. You can only get these here on my channel. Just If you're watching on the YouTube, just go down, click, buy this. This says, never surrender. And down here, it says, only surrender the fourth time after you've never surrendered. So this was taken, this is when I surrendered, but I say, don't surrender. Do you get the irony of that? Because I don't even know what irony is. Go ahead, though. You can order that shirt below, right here. Not on that, not here, but you can go over to YT, subscribe, come, you know, go up to the bio, subscribe. You can buy that shirt for all the wonderful, six million people, six million people on the Tickety Talk. But back over here to the YT, the YT. Go ahead Fantastic. and subscribe. If you're watching here, subscribe folks. And like, like this broadcast because the likes help the algorithm, the algorithm, and that makes more people come to watch it. Like I said, this is our 18th one. Go ahead with your question. Go ahead with your question. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell and the like thing. You got to like. Go ahead with your question. Go ahead. It's fine. Go ahead. Fantastic. Sir, sir, sir. And I just want to say, on behalf of Baker's Fancy Magazine, I personally have purchased a Baker's dozen of those shirts. Oh, fantastic. Give them as as, as gifts. Give them to your liberal, left-wing, fascistic, communist, socialist friends who like fish sticks. Absolutely, right absolutely. Question. So uh, getting back to the gravitas of this religious question, mm. we all know you as a man of the cloth. And by that, I mean cheesecloth. Bill D is asking, sir, if you are a god, does that make Eric Jesus? Oh, God. Jeez, uh, I hope not. I, I hope not. Listen, as everyone knows, my father, Fred Trump, his middle name was Christ. Fred Christ Trump. You can look that up, folks. I'm not making that up. So that makes me the son of God. So my children are the son, 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 you know, so they've been deluded, unfortunately. They're very deluded, uh, except of, except of Avka. She is something else, right? You know what I mean? I'd love to date my daughter, but there's all these rules in the Bible, which I love, which is my second favorite book. My first favorite book, Art of the Deal. You know, my second favorite book, The Bible. But if they put me in the Bible, it would be my first favorite book. So all of my evangelicals, can you get me in the next version of the Bible? I would love to be in it, but Eric is definitely not the son of God. Amen okay. to that. That's right. Preach. <laughs> preach. Preach. Go right ahead. This Hallelujah. Question, this question comes from TikTok from Bradder. Thank you, Tickety Talk. Thank you. Bradders asks, I heard Bradders. the White House is being refurbished for a care home for Biden. Is this true? What's the question? What's that? Camels? I heard Carmel? the... Wait, uh, what, what are you asking? What's the question? I, you, you say the question again. He asks, I heard the White House is being refurbished for a care home for Biden. Oh, is a this care true? home. Assisted living? <laughs> I would think so. I hear they're getting all those... those th- there's no steps anymore at the White House. There's one of those chairs. They just go up and are, Oh, let me get in the chair. I'll get in the chair and I'll go like this. Oh, come on, man. This is going too fast. It's unbelievable. They're turn- Listen, I'm not going back to the White House. I'm staying in Mar-a-Lago where I can have cheeseburgers anytime I like and all of my friends can just come through. It'll be tremendous. Do we have a question in the back, my friend? Yes, Mr. President. Will you have Miss America 2024 Medicine Marsh, a lieutenant in the Air Force, a member of your cabinet, or pilot of Air Force One? I think, I think... Under me, everyone will have three jobs. So all those things she'll mention, she'll have each one of those positions. That's right. And what is your name again? Uh, Eugene. No, 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 her name. Oh, her name. Her name is Medicine Marsh. Medicine Marsh. I I like that knowledgeable on the medical, on the medical. And people would say, Dr. Trump. I go, no, 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 no. I'm not a Trump. Little Fauci 
Fauci, Wauchi, who when I he would stand next to me, you literally couldn't see him. He was like this tall, this tall. He was like right here, a uh, little Fauci and Dr. Burks, Dr. Burks who wore the scarf, who always wore a scarf. She was actually very attractive in her day. I mean, not right now she's not my type, but in that day she was fine. But I was the one who came up with the idea for the bleach. That was me, and then of course uh, the UV light. Uh, you just stick it in you. And then you just turn it on because UV means ultraviolet, means ultraviolet. So once the light's up inside of you, it would just kung fu because it was kung fu. It would kung fu the kung fu. And that way, you know, it was like the old David Carradine show, kung fu. But I called it the kung flu. I called it the kung flu. Go right ahead. Uh, I just have to say, this one uh, is a little shocking. A little shocking? Uh, it's okay. I've got tough skin. Okay, this is, okay. Yeah, if there's incredible. one thing we know about you, it's that you've got tough skin. You definitely can take uh, insults. I can take insults. Absolutely. Let me um, brace. With Valentine's Day coming right around the Thanks corner, the super mm-hmm. chat. we've got this question from Cucker Tarlson. Cucker Tarlson. Must be his cousin. Cucker Tarlson. Cucker Tarlson. Saying, uh... Putin just told me that he's just not that into you. He's just not that into me. What are you talking about? We talk every day. He sends me the smiley emoji and the thumbs up emoji. This is the fake news at it again. I talk to Putin every day. He'll send me like the hearts. And when I open up the app, the heart opens and there's a bunch of hearts. So that's what that's what I'm getting from Putin. I'm not getting a thumbs down. I'm getting a thumbs up. So me and Putin, I'll, I will actually call, if I had my phone, I would call, hold on one second. Here's my hair. I got like a standee hair kind of thing going on here. Okay, we look. I look. I look fine. Look, I'm on the back of it. That's me on the back of my mirror. That that's how I should look, and this is how I do look, which I think is tremendous. All right, do we have? Oh, we have a question. Uh, a couple right donations, here. actually. Oh, sir. we have donations to my legal fund. Yes, sir. Okay. Another one from Johnny Shabazz. Thank Johnny you, Johnny Shabazz. Johnny Shabazz. He sounds like he's in the mafia. Johnny Shabazz. Johnny the Hammer Shabazz. You know what I mean? That uh-huh. would be great. Uh-huh. How much was it? How much it was, was twenty three forty five in Canadian, just like wow. the other one. Thank Johnny, you. Johnny, this is fantastic. You are going to get that eighty three point three million down very, very fast. I appreciate that. That's incredible. Find out where he's from, okay? Let's send him a basket of Trump spunk so he can expand his family. You know, speaking a- speaking of that, sir, he did say in his donation, sir, 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 as we in Canada. Oh, he's from Canada. Oh, Canada. Cannot import your actual Trump spunk. Could you have your friend John D. Domenico sell a novelty version of that product on his online store? Absolutely. Can you <laughs> screenshot that? Because I need that for an article. Yes, we can, we can do a novelty version of Trump spunk. We had a lot of people asking about this. For those of you who haven't seen the video here on YT, I'll get back to you in a second, Tickety Tuck. Go to the video section. Watch the commercial for Trump spunk i have to say something it's hilarious it's absolutely hilarious on why on uh, tickety talk go up to the bio subscribe on youtube and in fact if you're watching on the yt right now make sure you subscribe hit the like on this video and the notification bell go right ahead you got another donation from top banana 39 oh my top banana 39 i love the top bananas i love the top bananas the bananas on the bottom are always bruised That's why I like the top bananas. They're They're the good ones. 39. Go ahead. What's the question? Uh, Is there a question? How much was the money first? Tell me the money. Five pounds. Five pounds. Five pounds. That's a lot of money. And I know know Britain like no one knows Britain. The queen knighted me right before she passed away. Uh, Go ahead. The question? Is there a question? They said, you mentioned Al Gore has rhythm. Can you do a dance? Can I do a dance? Let me tell you something. What should, should, we'll do a little of YMCA. I always close these press conferences with YMCA, as you should know. Uh, so I'll do a little YMCA right now. YMCA, da 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 YMCA. He's got everything for a man to enjoy. He can hang out with all the boys. It's fun to stay at the... Who's got rhythm now? Me. I do. I have so Beautiful. much. Thank you so much. And by the way, the I used to spend chat. a lot of time in the late 70s, in the middle 70s, at uh, Club 54. And watch the video of me and Jeffrey Epstein when I was having a party. Watch me dancing. Epstein's just standing there like this, but I'm like. Go ahead. 
You got another donation from Thomas Riegler for $20. Thomas Thank you, Riegler, Thomas. $20. Thank you, Thomas. Let's make some noise for all these donations. Thank you. Thank you. There's over 50 people here in the press room. 50 people. Thomas Go asked, are you planning on making Trump buttered sausage and taking it from Gary Busey? Oh, I love that question. As we all know, on the channel, on the Johnny D uh, Johnny D Show One, which you're watching. If you're on the you the YT right now, go to videos. There's a v uh, interview with me and uh, Gary Busey. Gary Busey, it's doing very well. It's very very well. And I think we all know that Gary Busey invented buttered sausage, or he loves buttered sausage. Make sure you watch that interview. If you were on, excuse me, I had a a big omelet today. Uh, if you're on the the tickety talk, go up. Okay, go up to the bio, subscribe to my YT channel, and you can watch the Gary Busey interview of me. It's tremendous. Go right ahead. Um, sir, we've got a question here from Marnie Mo. Oh, Marnie Mo, We love Marnie Mo. Yeah. Yes, yes. Marnie Mo sends me some wonderful ideas and some great, great stuff. Thank you, Marnie Mo. But here's let's hear the question. Marnie Mo is asking, sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Did you make any of your appointees, including the Supremes, as you called them, mm -hmm. sign NDAs? Absolutely. We have we have NDAs and loyalty clauses. Listen, I had dinner the other night with uh, uh, what's his Gorsuch, who I got in. And uh, what's her name? Katie Brown, whatever her name is. And then uh, who's the other guy? Uh, uh, the the beard, the frat guy. What's his name? Does anyone know? Is this coming mm, up? Mm. Rodney Dangerfield? No, no, no. The guy that I got appointed to the Supremes, the, the, mm, the mm. male Supreme. Mm. Uh, Patrick, Diana Ross, chat. Supreme. Mm, Supremes, mm, right? Mm, what's his name? Mm -hmm. What's his name? He was uh, mm. he w he freaked out during his confirmation hearing. He got mm. out of total meltdown. Someone did say Scott Bow. Not Scott. Bow. No. Oh, Scott. No, no Scott, Scott Bayo. No, he's but thinking of Scott Bayo. I like I Scott Bayo though. Scott he's Bayo. A good he's guy. thinking of Scott I Bayo. I should put Scott Bayo on the Supreme Court next. Mm -hmm. But we got uh, Katie. Charles in charge. Charles in charge. Uh, <laughs> Amy Conant Brown. Zaphod said Brett. Is Brett right? Kavanaugh. Brett yeah. Kavanaugh. Yep. They Amy Coney yep. Barrett and Gorsuch. I had dinner with them two nights ago, and they were like, "Don't worry, sir. You're in like Flint." Whatever the argument is, we're for you, sir. So we're doing very, very well on the Supreme Court. By the way, I gave those people their jobs. And if you're watching, don't think I can't have you pulled out. So do what you need to do. And I want immunity. I want immunity. I, I, listen, listen. For the last 250 years, it worked fine. But I'm not like the last 250 years. I'm the new president. And I need immunity from criminal actions. Go ahead. Got a donation from Keith Grant. Keith Thank Grant. 1999 in pounds. Wow, Thank 1999. You. Wow, that's a lot of money. Thank you, Keith Grant. I appreciate that. And I love the fact that people are watching in Canada and people are watching in England and people are watching. Did we have somebody from Italy? Did we get some lira at one point? We got 6,000 lira, which turns out to be like $2.25. <laughs> but it's okay. I don't care where you're watching from because one day I will be the president of the planet in the intergalactic leader of this country. Did you have a question? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, Las Vegas Gazette. If you could do a deal that literally solves all the world's problems, mm -hmm. but Biden got the credit, would you support it? No, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. Whatever it is, I'm against it. Whoever came up with it, I'm against, unless I do it and I get credit, I don't want it. I don't care how it helps the world. That's, that's just how I am. That's how I am. This is why I'm so famous. And this is why I'm a marketing guy. I'm a marketing guy. All right, go right ahead. This question comes from, comes from Screams, a valued member. Thank you for being a member, Screams. Oh, thank you, Screams, for being... Oh, oh I, I got to go through the... I have to go through the list. I have to yes, go through yes. the list. We'll take care of that in a second. Screams asks, sir, 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 did you really have a colonoscopy without going under? Yes, I did. <laughs> it was very painful, but I watched the whole thing, and they were very reverent of what they were doing. Uh, they set the camera up there. And uh, it was amazing. We did have some blockage, but they were little, tiny little MAGA hats somehow gotten in my colon. But we took those out, and I'm selling those tiny little MAGA hats over my colon. I don't know how I, I swallowed those. But I have the cleanest colon in the history of colons. Even the doctors were saying, sir, 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 sir. They were crying, by the way. The doctor, big, strong doctors who look like football players. They were saying they've never seen a colon 
like my colon. They said they wish their colons were as clean as my colons, which I think is absolutely fantastic. All right, do we have another question? Go right ahead. Yes, yes. I see something here from Andrew Garth, Jolie. Jolie. Okay, floating a fantastic idea. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Chief Justice Alina Haba. Oh, boy, wouldn't that be fantastic? Because Roberts really hasn't been like a dream, but Alina Haba, Haba Dabba Do, would be an absolute dream to have on the Supremes. Alina Haba is probably one of the smartest, prettiest, but I don't see looks. I don't see looks. It's like when people say I'm a racist. I'm not a racist. I'm not a, I'm colorblind. I'm colorblind. It depends on how fast you run. That's how I'll judge you, not on the color of your skin. Go right ahead. Couple announcements. You Ooh, did like get a donation on YouTube from VIP 15. VIP 15. For 330, and I believe is a currency from Taiwan. Wow. That, give me the name again. VIP 15. VIP 15. Thank you so much for that donation. And Thank I'm sure on the so ticking talk, we're getting we're getting a lot of hearts, right? A yes, lot of hearts, yes. a lot of hats, yes. all that. Thank you so much, Tickety Talk. Thank you so much on YouTube. Back, anybody else? Uh, I do want to say VIP said, Thanks Hi, Trump. Will you protect a, protect Taiwan when China fights us? I will protect Taiwan until it's inconvenient. After that, they can have you. But until then, I love you very, very much. Or as you people say, I love you long time. All right, that's what we're going to do. But listen, I mean, have you seen how close you are to mainland China? I mean, it's kind of a given if you want to get right down to it. But don't worry, we will protect you. Right? Yeah, okay, good. Go right ahead. And on TikTok, you are five hats from your goal. Oh, my gosh. All right, folks, if you're watching, now on YT, this you won't see this, but on the Tickety Talk, we need five more of the hats and mustaches and we'll let you know when we do and at the very as soon as we get that i will break into ymca the full song or we wait till the end it's up to you go right ahead oh go yeah ahead. the old the elvis guy over elvis here. guy folks the elvis guys you have to see him he looks incredible Beautiful thank, you, thank, you, thank you very much Beautiful as an admirer of fine suits i can tell your suit is fantastic right. I, was, I was wondering whose suits do you wear i wear trump suits I wear Trump suits. Uh, we have Trump ties. This is an actual Trump tie. Well, this one has tape on it, like I always put on it. Trump ties, I'm, uh, Trump shirts, and what, what's happening over here? You're getting gifts, sir. Oh, we're getting gifts on, gifts on the, the tickety-tock. I always wear Trump clothing, and I wear a big Trump coat, too. And Macy's, I not a big business or anything, but Macy's used to sell Trump suits and now I just have a couple of my own and I wear these. And you know what? This is what branding is, folks. This is branding. Go ahead. Next question. You made your goal on TikTok. Okay, so here we know, go. Sir. All right, everybody. <laughs> we made the goal on TikTok. So we are going to do the YMCA. Here we go. Young man. There's no need to feel down. I said, young, young man. man, when you're in a new town, I said, young, young man. man, there's a place you can go where you do stuff all the time. YMCA, YMCA, we've got everything that a man to enjoy. You can hang out naked with all the boys. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Da 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 da. YMCA. There we go. Woo! Everyone loves the Trump rally moves. Yeah. 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 Does Biden dance? Does Biden dance? No. Did Obama dance? No. Who dances? I dance. I dance for you. Come to one of my rallies. <laughs> We have great songs. We have uh, YMCA. We have Macho Man. I pack stadiums all the time. Chris, I don't have to pay, but that's okay. Go right ahead. Uh, turning it back around to a more serious question, mm -hmm. sir, sir, sir. I can be serious. Okay, I sir. I can be serious. Sir, sir, sir. sir. Uh, this one is regarding international relations. Uh, international, my favorite kind of relations, from, other than with Ivanka. They're, uh, from, they're Lakshmi, from Lakshmi, LFG. Oh, we know Lakshmi. Lakshmi, we LFG, of... saying sir, sir, sir. <laughs> 
I will be in Vegas in March. Mm. How could I meet you to discuss Wakanda U.S. relations? Wakanda, yes, and I love I love the Wakandan people. Great people, fantastic, very fast people, and they have a lot of wonderful technology. And you know the thing about Wakanda is, you know, you can't even find it. I, I've been to Africa, like you literally cannot find this country. Great people, though. I know the head of uh, I know the head of Wakanda, the Black Panther, unfortunately passed away, but there's a new. Black Panther, and I'm sure I will have a great relationship with him, as I have with all of my friends. Me and Kim Jong Un, we're very, very close. Me and Erdogan, we're very, very close. Me and Jing Jong Ping, who, by the way, rules over Thanks a billion people chat. with a velvet glove, a velvet glove, and he can disappear reporters and journalists. I can't do that. So once I'm back in, you'll see a lot of reporters disappearing that I don't like. No one from Fox News. Go ahead. This question comes from TikTok. From, from TikTok. From Alejandro. Alejandro. Six, three six nine. I love the Mexican people, by the way. I get a bad rap. I just like when you come here legally, legally. But I love the uh, I love the quasadillas. I love the oompa loompas. I love the uh, the taco bowls, which you could get at Trump Tower. Go ahead with the question. Alejandro asks, how do you feel about the court case that went in Colorado yesterday about you being on the ballot? Well, listen, uh, you know, I've mentioned this before. If I am not on the ballot, that is a bad thing. That's like someone trying to overthrow the government. That is horrible. Wh whoever does th something like that should be arrested and jailed. And the woman who initiated the case is 91 years old. Some court clerk or clerk or county clerk or whatever they call that. And uh, I, I don't, I'm, I, here's what I'm, I'm not happy that she brought it. But I'm happy that the Supreme Court, the Supremes, are on my side. Like I said, I had lunch with um, Amy Coney, Barrett, Gorsuch, and uh, why do I keep forgetting his name? Who's the other guy? Brett Kavanaugh. I had, uh, I had dinner with them, and they told me, don't worry, sir, we got you. You know what I love to hear other than money? We got you. Send me money, of course, but we got you. It's very nice to hear from powerful people. No one's as powerful as me. Go ahead. You got a donation from Spine Drums One. It's Spine Drums One. Is that a chiropractor? Spine Drums. You know what possibly, I mean? Spine possibly. Drums. How much was it? This is Spine Drums' first donation. Thank, Thank you, Spine, you, Spine Drums. Spine Everybody Drums. make some noise for Spine Woo! Drums. Spine Drums' very first donation. Spine Drums donated $5 and said, Sir, will you once and for all condemn the disaster that is your orange appearance? My, no, I will not. This is branding, folks. This is branding. Who else? People always go orange. Oh, he's orange. He's orange. I like that. I like that. Do I want to be like, do I want to be translucent like Joe Biden? Oh, come on, man. I look like Skeletor. Oh, wait a minute. Listen, I, I, people love this look. Children, Halloween, what do people do? Kids, boys, girls, they dress up and look like me. They wear the blue suit, the red tie, the white shirt, and they put Cheetos on their face. That's not an insult to me. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't like carrots, but I'm going to have to eat them to keep this screen color. Go ahead. Skin color, not screen color. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Go ahead. Hmm, here's something interesting, sir. Uh, coming from not Vladimir Putin. Oh, we know not Vladimir. Vladimir, is, this is my list of members, by the way. Not Vladimir is on here. Chat. We're, we're going to do all the members at the end. Yes, your BFF. Not Vladimir is saying, Comrade Trump. Prove to fake American journalists that you are stable genius with great memory by reciting nuclear codes right now. Oh, I can do that. That's so easy. 35, 42, 73, 925, 67. And then there's a secondary code, which is 23, 63, 74, 378, A, and then B. Those are the nuclear codes. See that? I put them right in my head. You see that? I'm a stable genius with an absolutely incredible memory. And by the way, as many of you know or don't know, my uncle, John Trump, taught at MIT for 40 years. Look it up on the Google. He was a super genius. He was the number one professor at MIT. He was a super genius. I'm a stable genius. His blood is my blood. My blood is his blood. This land is your land. It was made for you and me, but really for me, honestly. It was made for me. Believe me, down in front. I got a question from TikTok. Tickety-tock. 
Tickety talk. Hello, tickety talk. And thank you for all of the hats. I really appreciate that, tickety talk. You guys are great. This Go comes ahead. from Dave. Dave. Dave asks Mr. Trump, what is your best advice for life? <laughs> best advice for life. Well, first off, be rich. If you can be rich, a lot of things fall into place. So um, be born into a wealthy family. Uh, I certainly did. And you have to really, to do that, you have to reserve a while in advance, at least nine months before you're born. But make sure you do that. But, you know, if you, uh, the other best advice is have a Trump baby. This is Trump spunk, the greatest <laughs> spunk, and I mean that in every way. The DNA in this jar is so, I made this this morning. It's still warm. It's still warm. And have a Trump baby. That would be my second piece of advice. My third piece of advice is something I learned from my grandfather, who only spoke German. Uh, so I will translate it to you right now. Everything in moderation, except everything. So I thought that was tremendous advice. Go right ahead in the back. My friend from the Las Vegas uh, Gazette. Gazette, sir, yes. Do you still have a beef with <coughs> Rosie O'Donnell? Absolutely. I never liked Rosie, even though I invited her to my wedding. But she, a lot of people don't realize what Rosie did to me. On The View, horrible show, Joey Behar. She, um, Rosie O'Donnell did an impression of me. Can you believe that? She did an impression of me. A woman. How insulting to have a woman do an impression of a man. And that is why for the last 12 years, I have ripped her spine out and beaten her over the head with it because she did something absolutely terrible. She insulted me. You don't want to insult me. I hold a grudge. I'm like the Italians. What can I tell you? Go right ahead. Sir, 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 I actually have uh, two questions. The first one is just quick in reference to um, the way you just parched your uh, thirst a moment ago. Mm -hmm. um, Zifad Biebelbrox is asking, was that a two liter water bottle? That was a two liter water bottle on camera. I mean, you have to understand, I have enormous hands. I have a, no look at this. This is a two liter bottle and my hand wraps around it. And you know what people say, big hands, big gloves. If you know what I mean. By the way, no complaints. And you know what else there's no complaints about? My Trump spunk. Watch the video. Watch the video. People are loving Trump spunk. It's only a thousand dollars a jar. And if you order two, it's another thousand. That's two jars for the price of two jars. That's a deal, folks. Did he have a question? Go right ahead. Thank you for the clarification on the size of that. Watch bottle. the video. Watch the Trump Spunk video. It's very funny. It's being suppressed. It's being suppressed on the YT. I don't know why. Space, Space Pirate is asking. Oh, Space Pirate. We love Space Pirate. Space Pirate is saying, sir, sir, President Trump, sir, can you give us an update on Melania? Is she coming to the YT with you anytime soon? We have been trying to get Melania on the YT for quite a while. We may have her in the next few weeks. We're working out on a brand new prenup. I'm giving her a lot. Probably what Biden gave somebody, Biden gave uh, uh, Kazakhstan. What's the country we're dealing with? Zelensky, Ukraine. Um, yeah, we're, we're making a deal with Melania. You know, she's been very tough. She's been very tough. She escaped like three months ago. Uh, the set went cold. Then we had her in uh, Paris. And then we had her in London. It's almost like she's like a female James Bond. Maybe like that movie Argyle. That looks really fun. And I love what's his name who's in that. And uh, Ron Howard's daughter. Did you know he had a daughter? She has red hair. They, her name is mm. Dallas. Dallas How? Mm. Who names their daughter Dallas? Doesn't Dallas mm. sound like a guy's name? Mm -hmm. I wonder why they did that. Maybe Go Melania ahead. is in Wakanda. Yes, possibly. <laughs> we will look. We will look. We're coming up on the last couple minutes of the show. Fantastic. You got a couple donations, ooh, Mr. Ooh, President. Money, 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 money. Tell Tom, me more. Tell me more. Tom Dagg sent you two euros. Thank two you, Tom. euros. Thank you, Tom. That's great. I can get a subway ride in uh, France. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Tom. That was very nice. It's Tom. So Tom's in somewhere in Europe. 
I'm assuming so. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Thank you, Tom. I love the European people. Soon I will march across Europe and I will be your leader. It'll be fantastic. Thanks for the super it. chat. Go ahead. Do we have a question? Tom back? said, Sir King Trump is Trump spunk 100% hand cranked. Yes. Oh, this is, yes. This is hand cranked. Thanks this for the super This is hand cranked. Chat. This is fresh. We make it fresh every morning. Alina Haba, I look at a photo of her and we make it happen. So let me tell you something, hand crank, I like that. That's what do they call that, like artisan? Artisanal, it's artisanal. artisanal. This is artisanal <laughs> spunk. I like that, artisanal spunk. That's a good one. Gonna have to use that in the new advertising. Go right Another ahead. donation from JK4584799 in what I believe is Australian currency. Ooh, Australian. It's, isn't it late in Australia? Is it late in Australia? Is it late I in think Australia? so. It's pretty yeah. late. Now listen, I just want to say to everybody watching, you can hear my voice every week on Planet America, ABC in Australia. We do the top Trump truths. So listen, if you're in Australia, and I know a lot of you are because I can see the flag when you send me stuff, uh, watch me on Planet, or hear me, hear me on Planet America. I do the weekly Trump Truth. It's a great show, uh, wonderful, two great hosts, very funny guys. That's right, tickety talk. they're on there. Listen, we're getting close. How much time do you have? Go ahead with the announcement. We're, we're at 11 right now. I Good. do want to get- go over, we can go over. I want to get JK's question in real yes, quick. Yes, They got a donation. Uh, JK asks, sir, 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 your holiness, sir, in which way holiness. are you better than Jesus? How am I better than Jesus? I'm here, I'm here. You know what I mean? Um, uh, uh, Jesus did some good stuff. I, you know, I'm very close to Jesus. Did you know he's Jewish? Did you know Jesus is Jewish? No one talks about that. No one talks about that. But I'm the one who went to Israel and I made it happen. I moved the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. People have been talking about this for 50 years. I did that. And this is why the Jewish people love me. They absolutely love me. They're great people, hardworking people, so good with money. Uh, and you know what the Jewish people think about me? They think my name, Donald J. Trump. They think my middle name is Jewish. It's not, it's genius. It's genius. And this is why I am the second coming. And uh, this is why all the evangelicals, the evangelicals believe I should be in the Bible. They believe I should be in the Bible because I've done so much for the Jewish people. They're the chosen people. I mean, I'm chosen too, but I'm not Jewish. But my daughter's Jewish, and I think that's important. And did you know Don Jr. went out with a Jewish girl? Did you know that? A lot of people don't talk about that either. But now he's with Kimberly Guilfoyle, who wears way too much eyeliner. I like her. Can you believe she was with Gavin Newsom? Can you believe that? What a, what a wacky, what a wacky thing. Now she's with Don Jr., who likes to hunt. Who likes to hunt? He loves the big game game. Do we have another question? Sir, it's been an honor and a privilege having you here speak in Las Vegas. Thank you so much. Probably the biggest event we've ever had, even bigger than the Super Bowl. Bigger than the Super Bowl. There's pre folks, you heard it from the press. Uh, biggest event, other, bigger than the Super Bowl, which is happening Sunday, and it's rigged. It's totally rigged, believe me. And Go where ahead. are you appearing next, sir? Uh, I will be appearing uh, pretty much everywhere because I'm in court on Monday. I'll probably pop up somewhere tomorrow during the uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday, and then on Sunday, a little bit of a surprise. I bet. Just watch the news. Just watch the news. We have counter programming against uh, uh, Travis and uh, Tay Tay. Believe me. Believe me. Go right ahead. Final question. Just one last one on behalf of the readers of Baker's Fancy. We have to ask you, sir. What are your Super Bowl predictions? My Super Bowl prediction is that, uh, unfortunately, Kansas City Chiefs will win because it's all rigged. It's all rigged. Biden is a stumbling, grumbling old man, but yet he's a super genius who has planned out everything. If you can hold both of those thoughts in your head, you're, what do they call that? Uh, cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dickens. Mm -hmm. If you have cognitive dickens, you can have the fact that he is a stumbling old man and a super genius, which he is. And that's how you know he's full of you. He's like, oh, come on, man. What's going on here at the Zestberg? But he's actually planning on a very high level. And that's why we have to defeat him, because he's evil. He's evil. He's like Dr. Evil. He looks one way, and this is what the DOJ said. He looks like a doddering old man, but he's a super criminal genius. It's sad, and this is why I should be in, because 
I am a super criminal genius. He's smart, far smarter than him. It's true. It's really, really true. Absolutely. 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 Now, folks, before we wrap up for today, first of all, please give a big hand to my incredible press corps. I'm going to choose two out of the 50 to come up here. But first, I need to thank my incredible members. First, I want to thank everybody on the Tickety Talk. I have six, 5.9 million followers. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Send your questions for next week. We already have two amazing reporters coming in for that. On the YT, make sure you subscribe. I do this every Friday for one hour straight. This is our 18th hour of comedy and fun and uh, satire. Uh, we've got, we need you to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you can, if you're watching, if you're watching, hit the like button. That's a big help because that helps us with the algorithm. I have members. And if you want to come become a member, we have three levels to become a member. Each one has perks. We call them perks. Uh, but here's some of our members we want to thank. Catherine Rose, new. Thank you so much, Catherine. Sir Bob Blow Blow. <laughs> Bob Blob Laws. <laughs> Bo, the thing is, Bo Blow. He's I right there. He's in the chat right now. Oh, he is. Sir, Sir Bob Blow Blaws, I believe. Sir, Sir Bob. Sir, <laughs> Bob Blob Laws. I'm just gonna Sir call you Sir Bob. Bob Blob. Bob, <laughs> thank you so much for becoming a member. Andre Severd, is that right? Andre Severd. Uh, he's a member. Sharon Mick. Sharon Mick, MC. Screams. I love that name. Screams! What a great name. Uh, Janice Bunch. We love Janice. Janice has been around a long time. She's a member now. Over Medium, uh, 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 a member now. Jetta, we love fly as can be. We love fly as can be. Joe Jetta. Joe Jetta, baby. Uh, fly as can be. Not Vladimir Putin, who had a question for us today. Thank you so much. Kitty Twitty. Kitty Twitty, we love that name. Shouter. I think it's like Shotter. Shotter, Schadenfreude, Schadenfreude. Uh, Bobex, Bobex, we love the Bobex. Ash Blund, um, Gerard Smith, D Swing Morel, we love the D Swing, we love the D Swing. Fofi and Satserve, Satserve, we still have to get back to you. We saw the messages, we have been swamped. But we will get back to you, SatServe. SatServe is the best. All my members are the best. Let's get our reporters up here right now. As I just say, one more thank you. We're going to keep these press conferences going. Make your way up here, sweetie. Make your way up. Lorraine's back for her second, her second one. And we'll come over here. We already did, uh, we already did why I'm saying we should do Macho Man. First off, can we get a photo? Can we get a photo? Yes, Let's yes, do a photo. yes. We'll get the photo. First, we'll do thumbs up. We do thumbs up. Here we go. Let me get my we, these are, folks. We have photographers here. That's what's happening. We'll, uh, we'll let the chat see what's going on. All right, three, two, one. I'm gonna get one more above the computer. I'm gonna do the pointing one. Okay, ready. Okay, point with your right hand. Make the angry Trump face. Beautiful. Beautiful. You guys are great. Let's go out on Macho Man. You ready? Oh wait, wait, wait. Let people know who you are and where they can find you. Eugene from the Las Vegas O. Oh. <laughs> or Robert MacArthur, ElvisDiamond.com. Thank you. And by the way, he's a really funny, funny guy. Great impersonator, great comedian, and a great singer. His Neil Diamond is amazing. His um, uh, Elvis is off the hook. You should see this guy's Elvis. And his Trump is amazing. But don't tell anyone I said that. Don't tell anyone I said that. Over here we have... Uh, Elena Bataceria, otherwise known as Lorraine Quiche. Just a friend and supporter who loves great comedy and loves this guy. Thank you. <laughs> and a comedian herself, a stand-up comedian. You can see her here in Las Vegas. And if you want to get married here in town, go to this guy. He's an amazing officiant. He'll make it very memorable. All right, you guys have been absolutely incredible. We'll see you next week. To all my members, thank you. To all my subscribers, thank you. To all my followers on the Tickety Talk, thank you so Thanks much. Here we go, out, Macho guys. Man. Macho, Macho <laughs> Man. <laughs> I've got to be a macho man, mucho, mucho man. I've got to be a macho, woo! All right, and we're out.